Budapest and we're standing in front of the Terror Museum, which was, ironically, the head of the Gestapo here in Budapest. And what they've done is they've also erected a monument here, which you can see is just made all of change, which represents the falling of the Iron Curtain. After World War II in 1949, Hungary was declared a People's Republic and was ruled by Communism. The Iron Curtain fell in 1989, but there are reminders of the regime scattered throughout the city of Budapest today. This is a monument dedicated to Amir Naj. He was the Prime Minister and the leader of the rebellion in 1956 who was executed by the Communists two years later. This bridge here symbolizes the difficult road that it takes to get to freedom. A lot has changed since the days of communism, where once it would be unthinkable to even go into a person's house, you can now rent apartments with companies like House Trip and experience firsthand how to live like a local. An interesting part about visiting Budapest is that you can see a contrast between the communist era and the modern day society of today. People that are our age remember what it was like to live here during that time. But it's in a major transition right now. Chain hotels and chain restaurants and boutiques are popping up everywhere and it's a very exciting time to come to Budapest because it hasn't quite been taken over with gentrification, so there's still a lot of character from the past. So behind me is the little Trabant that we've been heading around Budapest in. It's an interesting little car. It's from the uh, communist era and it was built in East Germany. And let me tell you, it's fun to bomb around in this little thing. It, uh, it's got some guts and it sounds like a tank. Budapest was the first city in Eastern Europe to have a McDonald's. They were more of a relaxed communism or as they called it, goulash communism. Ruin bars are a popular spot that came out of the fall of communism. These are trendy hipster pubs that are decorated with retro furniture and have a very cool vibe. No longer do Hungarians have to watch state-run TV filled with propaganda. They can now watch on their flat screen TVs the latest in Hollywood releases. And you can too if you choose to rent an apartment in Budapest. <laughs> 